So it seems like everybody who comes to LA from somewhere else has that quote, you know, arriving in LA story. Tell us yours, Tennyson. How long ago was it, and what did you take away from it? What was the moral of the story? <laughs> well, I, I, okay, I don't know if it's a moral exactly. <laughs> um, uh, so, okay, I got out here. I didn't know anybody in the industry. And uh, my background was in theater, and I had lots of stagecraft experience, and I kind of figured I was going to be able to get a job doing lighting or something. Um, except for one person who I did know, who I would went to college with. And his girlfriend was working at a film finance office in Beverly Hills, and he asked me if I wanted to, and I'm like, of course, absolutely. It's a chance to work in the industry. I'll learn things I didn't know. And I started making phone calls for investors at this little, very expensive office, which of course legitimized it in my eyes, which is exactly what it was supposed to do. And then as soon as I closed the deal, I got fired so they wouldn't have to pay my commission. There was a little thing in the contract and I was, you know, I was young, I didn't know any better, I didn't know to call a lawyer or anything like that. And I spent my first holiday here homeless, eating once every two days. Like just crashed right into Los Angeles, head first into the worst parts of the industry. And, uh, and, and, um, uh, a couple months later, I saw an ad in Variety, you know, looking for young, professionally minded, upwardly mobile, you know what I'm saying, whatever, kids to come in and make phone calls. And I figured, well, and I had sworn off at that point, I'm never going to get involved in the business side of film, no way. I'm going to find someone to do my stage crap, but I got hungry. And I said, I'm going to give myself two weeks and go in and do this, and then I'll find something else. And that's how I met um, the person who taught me basically everything I know about sales, everything I know about film finance, introduced me to, I, I wound up working on a show with Basil Polidorus, which was awesome. <laughs> who was the composer, if you don't know, of Robocop and Conan the Barbarian and, 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 and um, The Hunt for Red October. He's a legend in the music side of film. And, and a bunch of other cool people as well. And, and uh, by and by, I wound up helping to build and found unified pictures with those people. So it turned out to be a really good thing. But, you know, as far as the lesson of getting scammed, you know what I mean? I, uh, I, I, got, I got cynical pretty quick about the film industry and the business of it. And uh, the article I posted on Film Courage was kind of how I learned to let that cynicism go. So I became shall we say, wisely open by and by about my interactions with Hollywood.